Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to start sketching this in. I'm using charcoal right now so that everybody can kind of see what I'm doing. Looking at big shapes here. One of the things about when you're drawing, you want to focus on big shapes. You don't want to worry about an eraser and all of this kind of stuff right away. Right now, <clears throat> we are just going to put some shapes in here. Kind of, I call them placeholders. Kind of tells us what and what direction we're going. So we're gonna put some of that there. Okay, so I think I want his mane to come out a little bit more here, here. Definition in the shape of these ears here. I think this needs to come from here out. This needs to come up here. This needs to come over here. And this needs to come more like this. So I'm supposed to be painting this for a paint party. And when I do these paint parties, I have to simplify the painting. Now, I don't know how well that simplifying is gonna go right now because I've got an image in my head of what I want this to look like. And because I have that image, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to simplify it or not. And that is because I've got this really cool idea going on about what I think this should look like. Okay. We want a real tranquil scene. Tranquil, I don't know if that's a word, but I want it to be Kind of these big cats they like to first of all they look very majestic very majestic and all they have to do is lay in the sun all day long and just hang out. Let's see, I want this to be a little more over here. Big shapes. So I don't like this here. I don't think this needs to come over here a little bit. It'd be over here and I need this to be a little more here. And that to go a little more there. Okay. Starting to like what I see. I don't want to put a lot of detail into it yet. I do all that with the brush. Just kind of making sure that everything is straight. Not a good time to work on eyeballs and all that other stuff. First thing that you see, the last thing that you paint. Okay, kind of like what we have there. I don't know if you can see that real well. I put it in with charcoal instead of regular pencil so that you could see it better. So, there we go, now. Okay, so now, <clears throat> let's see here. I have to follow a couple of rules in art. So I'm gonna use the same brushes that I use in my paint parties. These videos are for people that come paint with me, um, people that, want to try to learn to paint um, but mostly um, 
It's the people that come and paint with me. A lot of people have asked about me doing demonstration videos, and so I'm trying to get into that. So be sure to go down somewhere. Look, I'm pointing down. I don't know where that button's at, but there's a button down there that says subscribe, and I promise you some really cool stuff will come up soon. So one of the things that I have to follow is light to dark, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I want my light to be on this side. It's gonna be darker over here. One of the things that'll help this emphasize the light is if I take a little black here and I'm gonna kind of come in here and everybody's going, oh my God, what's this dude doing? Well, as you know, I don't like to paint inside the lines. I like to have a little fun. And as I said, this is supposed to be for a paint party. Don't know how well that's gonna work out for me. Um, if you're trying to figure out if I always start with black, that's not the way it works. I go with whatever I'm needed at the time. And because of the vision of what I see that I want to happen in this painting, I'm doing a little bit of dark. So I'm doing a little bit of dark in some areas just to kind of give me an idea of where I'm going. And this point of the painting, if you are already starting to think about detailing and coming in here and doing this perfect little detail, you're messing up, okay? You need to paint from large areas to small. And uh, everybody knows I like, I love watercolors. It's my love. Um, paint parties, I do them mostly in acrylic. Sometimes I do them in watercolor. Uh, everything that I paint, I paint from big to small. Notice that I'm using a one inch brush for this. You didn't see me pick up this little bitty round brush. Can you see that little bitty round brush? We don't need that. One of the reasons is that this big brush, if you're using it, it keeps you from detailing that stuff. Okay, so we got this going on. I need some marks here. It's kind of gonna help me see where these paws are laying out. So you're looking at this right now and you're thinking, dude, you have no idea what you're doing. And I would kind of agree with you, because at this point, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just laying down some values, okay? So I need some gray back here. And I want this little streaky stuff. I like these little, take some of that and just run it in there. Just see that? I mean, just kind of make a little mess. Um, we're painting to have fun, okay? If you can have fun while you're painting, everything will be all right. Get some of this going on in here. This is gonna be my main. I'm not real concerned about those eyes yet. I'm just kind of put some black in there to hold them in place for me. Okay. So, got that going on. Have some gray up here, have some gray up here. I'm kind of going like that. Lost my ear. That's okay. He may not have an ear when we're done. I'm just kidding. I'll put an ear back in there. One of the great things about painting with acrylics is the forgiveness. Very forgiving medium. You don't like it, paint over it after it dries. A lot of people don't allow for dry time. And so they get these muddy looking colors. Okay, so I've got this going on. You can see that it's dark. It's gonna be light here, I think. I need to come in here with just a little bit of this. Kind of get this facial stuff going in here. You're looking at big shapes. I hope that you can understand what I mean by big shapes. Um, the more that you paint, the closer that you get into things, the smaller the brush strokes are. As you can see right now, it's still a one inch brush. Still, everything's kind of big, okay? Uh, 
let's come over here. Let's add some of this. Kind of break that up a little bit. There's an ear up there somewhere. We lost that little guy. There we go. There's an ear. We'll put that ear back in there. We'll put this back in here like this. And this is all going to work in the end. Again, you've heard me tell people before on my other videos, give me about an hour and a half before you tell me if you like your painting or not. Um, I paint very fast, very spontaneous. Um, I really do believe that it kills the painting to be too precise. Some of you that are art lovers, uh, artists that are trying to learn, Stay away from the detail. Stay away from it. I'm, I can't stress that enough to you. You don't need it. You don't need it at all. Okay? So I have this going on. I like what I see. I know that my paws are going to be here. This is going to be the back. I'll darken this up later. I'll bring some more lights into this later. Um, but as I told you, we have to allow for dry time. So I can't really do much else to this right now until I do some drying. So we're going to take this down and I'm going to go dry it. Doesn't look real good in the video right now. I know, but stick with me. Okay. I dried it. Now we're going to move forward. So you can see what I mean about the big shapes. Like you can see big shapes. I saved some of these areas of white for a reason. Um, it won't look like that later. So let's see. We are going to, still with the one inch brush, I'm going to come in here and I'm kind of going to emphasize a little bit more and I'm not using as much paint. Remember we talked about big to small. So I'm going in on my, I'm going in and get a little smaller on the areas. I know that in a little while I'm going to have some of the main going in here. So I need some darkness down here. Otherwise, if you put white or yellow on this, it's not going to stand out as much. But if you put some on top of this, it really will stand out. So come in here, add a little bit here. Don't be too precise. Okay. I know that a lot of you, if you're painting along with me, you're like trying to do this. Don't do this. Do this. Do that. Go in there and just make a mess like that. Just make a mess. Make a mess. Okay? See that? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You all probably just gasped a little bit. It's okay. I promise. I'll make it look good. I promise. Just bear with me. Okay? All right. Now, enough of that jibber jibber nonsense. That's what my son tells me. Dad, you're telling you, but full of jib jabber nonsense. So we're gonna get up here. I got some hair that's gonna go up here. I know this, so I need to put a little darkness in there. I like that. I like this over here. I wish I would have saved some of it in here, but just keep going. Keep going. So we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna darken this just a little bit here. Because this is where his little leg is gonna be. And then his paw is separated right here. So I'm gonna put some of that there. Just wiggle the brush around a little bit there. A little bit there, a little bit over here. Good, good, I like that. Now, <clears throat> this is where the fun stuff comes in, okay? So I told you that I have an idea that I'm going with. And we are gonna start that. Other thing, um, some of you are stopping every two minutes to go get yourself some clean water. Some people feel that that is a necessity. I don't. Okay, I like to make messes and get some of that going on up here. Some of this going on here. Oh, picked up some black. Guess what? We keep painting. Keep painting. Keep painting. Now, this is magic. This is magic. 
it's water. And because I love watercolor so much, I love these runny effects. And one of the beautiful things about this is that you have no control over it. No control. And I'm gonna throw some water in there. There we go. Just throw a little water at it, let it run. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Don't panic, don't panic. I told you that it would look good when I'm done and I'm not gonna fail you. All right. So tonight I have to, in a couple of hours, I'm supposed to be going to do a paint party in De Leon, Texas. And my assistant slash boss, if any of you painted with me before, is named Miranda. And guess what Miranda is gonna do when she finds out that I was doing this instead of working? She's going to throw a fit. And she's gonna tell me, I thought I told you you're supposed to be painting angel wings and let's put some glitter in it. And, 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 and Christmas is coming. And that's just Miranda. That's the way she is. So if you have suggestions about what I should paint, leave the suggestions down there. You'll be talking to Miranda. She runs it. And then she'll yell at me later and tell me that I'm not painting fast enough to get all of this done. Oh yeah, look at that, throw some black in there. Look at that, ah, oh, it's good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So, do you think I've lost my mind yet? Many of you are saying yes, especially the people that know me, and that is okay. I can lose my mind, I'm allowed to do that. I became an artist for a reason. First reason is, my mother told me to pick a real job, that I should have a real job. And this is a real job. So I did what my mama said. Now let's turn this over a little bit. So we get some of that going that way. Makes no sense. I know. I know. But I want a little bit of this. Some white going in there. Look at that. Oh man, I'm supposed to do this at a winery. They're going to lose their mind if I start slinging paint around like this, ain't they? Okay. Okay, we're getting a little carried away. We're getting a little carried away. Let's come back in here. Get some magic going. There we go. Oh yeah. So this guy is going to be amazing when we're done. Amazing. I think. I think I might have put too much right there. Whoops. It happens. Oh well, we'll make it work. Run my fingers through there real quick. There we go. All right. Oh, I like the way that white moves in there. Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna allow for a little bit more dry time. A blow dryer works. I'm looking at this in the camera. It looks better in the camera than it does here. And here it really does look like I lost my mind. So, um, we're gonna dry it. Okay, so we dried it. We got another cup of coffee, because it is important. If it was a little later in the day, we'd be having some wine, but it's too early and I still have to work later. So, now, we have to do what's called push and pull, okay? So we do that by adding lights and darks. I'm gonna go back and forth, and I'm gonna bring this forward, okay? Now, in order for me to bring that forward, <clears throat> I gotta come in here and pull this, and I'm gonna pull it by using a lighter color. So the darker color stays in the back. Now, over here, this is really dark, and I, I don't wanna just put white, that's boring. It's, don't do that. So I'm gonna mix up some colors, and I think I'm gonna get like a reddish gold color going on in here. I don't wanna lose all of this stuff. So when you're doing it, remember, we're painting from large to small. So now our brush strokes are gonna get smaller. Oh, that coffee is delicious. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to a quarter inch brush, okay? Now, let's go with, what do I wanna do first? I wanna do the nose, okay? 
a lot of you are looking at that thinking, oh my God, when's it gonna get to this point? Because that's the fun stuff. So I'm gonna mix a little blue with a little white. I'm gonna take a touch of gray into it because I don't want it just blue, okay? And I'm gonna come in here. Let's see what that looks like. See how I tested that? That's not bright enough. It's not vivid. So one of my students the other day, uh, they messed up on a picture. The color wasn't right, and they continued to paint it. If the color's not right, stop at that point. Go over here and get you the color that you want. Don't continue to paint on it. This, is not a, this isn't a big deal. It's not a great big mistake or anything. I'm going to come up here. I'm trying to remember that i got to teach this at a winery to a bunch of people that have never painted. And so I have to keep it kind of simple. Now, this is side is going to be light, remember? So I can come in here. Uh, I could probably use that over here a little bit. See how dark that is? I'm use a little bit of it over here. Now, I'm not using a lot of paint because I want to do a little dry brush in here okay see that there we go if you cover up the black it's okay because you can come back and paint over it one of the beautiful things about using acrylics okay and put some darker blue on this side because this is the dark side of the face okay so already this guy is starting to come to life all right here we go now, I've got that going on here. I'll finish this up with some black later. I'm gonna come in here. This is where we're gonna start doing a little bit of detail. Look at how I'm kicking the brush. Put the brush against it. Don't use the corner. Put the brush against it and kick it. Now, you don't want everything going to the left or to the right. You want, see that's a little chaotic. And that's what we want. There we go. You don't want straight little lines. If you're in here doing this, no, use the brush. Let the brush do the work for you. I think this needs to come out a little bit more, be more proportional, okay? And this is not the finished product, all right? Get up here with a little blue. There we go, so it'll darken from there. There we go, I need to fill that in just a little bit there. I'm liking that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the one inch brush, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna come in here and start with a little yellow ochre, a little white, and a touch of gray, again. So I know that the ear is here, and I'm gonna kind of start here. It's coming down. I wanna see those colors underneath it. I don't wanna knock them out yet. Uh, wide brush, you see that? Wide, wide, wide. Come down here. I'll get in here in a minute and get it a little more crazy. I like that, I like that. Good, good. Okay, there we go. A little more white. There we go, a little more white, there we go. Well, the same color that I'm using, I'm gonna use it to kind of accent where this leg is. And I still have a lot of this color showing, which is good. Um, this isn't coming around as much as I want it to. There we go, not really what my reference photo looks like, but I'm not married to that photo. I can do what I want. All right. So we're getting up here. I'm gonna use a little yellow ochre and some orange. And I'm gonna start here. You see where those black marks were? That's where I'm gonna start here. Bringing it around. Focus on the shape that it's supposed to be. Do some quick little marks like this. Now, I got an ear over here somewhere and I lost it. I think it's right there. I'm not worried about it. I'll figure it out later. There we go. There's an ear. Yeah, yeah, that's a good ear. There we go. All right. Here, here. I got an ear right there. And I'll put some white in there later. Okay, so this guy is starting 
to come to life. Okay, we gotta be careful here. This color cannot go here. This has to be a darker color because it's on the shadow side, but it can't be black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test some orange. I like that. I like what I got going on there. Like this. Bring that down, bring that down, bring that down. Some orange, there we go. Kind of bringing that together like that. Okay. Nope, ear needs to come over here. See, I didn't get all panicky about that. Ear needs to come over there. Now back there is his shoulder, and that's the darker part of the mane. So I'm gonna come in here with some red and a touch of black. Now notice that, look at this. I didn't cover everything. This is where you get smaller, smaller. See, I'm not covering everything, all right? I think that needs to go higher. There we go, it needs to go a little darker too. That needs to be a little darker. Show his shoulder back there, there we go. All right, now I gotta fix those ears. And I'm gonna use a little red and black. That ear, I put it there, it needs to be up here. There we go. There's an ear right there. Here's an ear inside of here. See how I just went right inside of that? We're not really trying to be perfect. Yes, yes, no. Do you agree? I think we need more coffee. Get some more coffee. Um, I think I need a touch of white with some yellow ochre and we're gonna pull it right off of here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Boom. We're gonna make that nose come out. Come around, come around. There we go. Boom. Let's bring that over there just a little bit. A little bit, I like it. There we go, there we go. Okay, now, need a little bit of yellow ochre and white in here because this is this face and I need it to kind of show. Oh, there we go, good. Now I'm gonna come in here in a minute and bring all that to life. But everybody's been waiting for this part. Little round brush, a little black. All right, let's see if I can get in here to where you can see me. So this guy, a lot of coffee, so I shake a lot. There we go, this guy comes in here like that, like this. This guy is a little, it's a little too far over that way, so I'm gonna move it with this. There we go. A little bit of that going on. Come in here, bring his nose back. And he has a little pink in there. I don't know if I'm gonna put that or not. <clears throat> here we go here. Let's bring this this way. Let's bring this this way. I'm gonna add some little dots in here. I'm just kind of smashing the brush around. Give it some texture. So we don't know where the nose starts and then this little fur starts or stops whatever that is there <clears throat> okay now i need a little bit of focus in this area here so i'm going to put a little bit of design in there a little bit of just a little bit of design you see that a little bit of design a little bit of design need a little bit darker in those ears Hey, I'm liking what we got going on there. I like this. Let's get a little bit of white, yellow ochre. <clears throat> this is all about brushwork, okay? There we go, there we go. A little bit in the eyes, a little bit of white. Ah, got some black in it. White. So I want to see, see this ear up here. I can't really see it. So there is some of that, some of that, a little bit here. This lion, he's, he's had some, he's had a rough life chasing little mice and stuff like that. He's had a really rough life. He's kind of tired. Let's emphasize 
this leg over here. Emphasize that, emphasize here. This is his front paw. There we go. Emphasize that a little bit there. He's just chillaxing. Okay, we got that, we got that. I don't like that. There we go. Starting to get there. He's starting to look pretty good. All right. Now, again, don't want to go into a lot of white really fast. So I'm using some ochre and some white. And we're gonna kind of go in here and emphasize a little bit more. Okay, so there's the ear. I'm gonna put some stuff coming off of here. See that quick strokes, quick strokes, just quick little strokes here, 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 just shaping the mane. Okay, that side over there, we gotta be really careful with that. I need just a little bit of something going on in here, just a little, just a little, show some mane in there. Let it cross over that just a little bit. I think this needs to be out here. Picked up some red by mistake, it's okay. Add a little bit of this on the top. There's a good ear, good like that. This, a little stronger in here. Stronger there, we give a little accent back here where he's sitting at. Okay, now I need to pull, see my arms in the way. I need to pull this ear out. There we go. Now, here we go. There we go. Just letting the brush do the work for me. Let the brush do the work for you. Just a little brush work here, a little brush work here. Here we go, bringing it together. Look at that, there's his face. I think that his mane is a little bit too not fat enough. There we go, a little bit better there. Okay, so I'm gonna step to the other side. Now on the other side, I'm gonna use yellow ochre. I used orange here. I'm gonna use a little yellow ochre mixed into that orange because over here it was yellow ochre and white. Well, this is the dark side. So I can't use too much white in this area. Otherwise, it won't work in harmony. So a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. Let's sum it here just because I can. I like lots of brush strokes. I'm gonna bring this around, bring this around. Okay, I'm liking this. A little bit orange in there. Okay, now, remember I said it's a push and a pull. His face is here, and this is where we need to make some definition. So I'm gonna come in here, put some quick little black strokes up against that. Not going over everything. Put some black strokes in here because it's darker. Black strokes here, 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 here. Yeah, yeah, okay. A little bit more black in here, inside of his ear, bringing that down. Inside of his ear, bringing that down. I'm gonna do some of this black here. I'm gonna come out here, add some black to separate some of this. There we go. Got a lot of fur there. Here, okay. How in the world am I gonna teach this? I have no clue. It's all right. All right, so here I need to come up a little bit. Here, here, using black just to kind of give us some direction. Bring this around, separate that. Okay, I kind of like it. All right, now for the detail work. So 
first thing I'm going to do is we're going to keep this relatively simple. Get some white in here with a little round brush. Get some white in here, kind of bring some attention to that nose. Get some white in here. Get some white over there. He's got a little nostril or something going on in there. Okay, and down here. Here we go, see that back here like that? Watch this, so we're gonna start here, we're gonna go bam, 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 bam. Cause he's got this whiskers going on. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, hope that you don't try to paint what I'm painting stroke for stroke. Paint it to what you feel. Be loose, enjoy the idea of painting. A lot of people tell me all the time, man, I don't have the time to paint. I don't have the time to paint. I don't have the time to draw. And that's because they stick to whatever they're looking at and they try to be married to the photograph of whatever it is they're looking at. And you're not, man, you're not. You are the artist. You have all the freedom in the world and do whatever you want. Okay, this guy, he's gonna have a little something going on here, a little something going on here. Okay, I wanna put some white right there, add some definition to his face. He's an old man, been around a long time. Okay, put some white and some yellow. And now we're gonna start in here. Bam. I don't like that yellow. So I'm just going back to white. Somehow I picked up orange. Alright, so we're gonna come in here. This is where it gets smaller. Just notice the brush strokes are a lot smaller. smaller so go here tie everything together with a little bit of white just make a little mess that's still wet I don't care Get some white up oh, my arms in the way sorry I'm working on that it's not cool to paint at an angle like this but Bob Ross did it he was awesome. Okay. Here, 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 here. Bring this around a little bit. Here, here, here. Bring this around. Let it go over this. Here, not too much. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Now. There's a couple of other little things that I want to do to this. And it's gonna add some colors that are not there. So I have some oranges, yellows, uh, ochres going on in there. So I want to kind of use a little bit of color theory, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some color that's nowhere in the picture and I'm gonna throw it around. And it's just, I don't know how well this is gonna work. This is the color. So if it messes up the painting completely, we didn't lose nothing, okay? So we're gonna put some paint in here like that. Try to stay out of the face, but if I hit it, it's not the end of the world, okay? Yeah, these people at this winery are gonna lose their mind when I do this. All right. There we go. I like it. That's what I wanted. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm playing around a lot. Not really trying to be too careful. But this is always fun. So we take this splatter and we just kind of drag this around a little bit. Now, notice we're not pushing real hard vertical horizontal lines through some of this. 
and it just adds so much. I'm gonna go right across his face. Everybody's gonna trip out. Oh my God, no, I can't do that. Believe it or not, a lot of people tell me that. One of them's name is Devin. Devin, you know you'll tell me, I'm not doing that, ah. Okay, because you sound like a little girl. Let me do that. Okay. So, what do we, I wanna go this way or I wanna go this way? Oh, let's go down. Let's go up, because we don't have any going up. And I can't put my arm that way, so we're gonna turn this guy over for a minute. Let me see, can you see that? I'm just gonna go, wow. There we go, look at that. Ooh. Bring this across, Ooh. there we go. Now, it looks like something. I'm not sure it looks like a lion, but it looks like something. So, at this point, well, all through your painting, you should be stepping away and looking at it. But at this point, I am looking at what's not standing out, what do I need to push and pull, and one of those things is right here. I didn't get that enough to show his face. There we go. I like that a little better. And some of this, put it right there. Kind of bring his face out a little bit. I think that needs to be darker. But instead of using black, how about we use a little bit of this? Let's see what happens if I do this. I don't know, man. Might have just messed that up. That's okay. there a little bit there I don't like that but I think it'll work I'm gonna come back in and kill some of that right there here we go ha look at that it's like it never was there and bring some emphasis around this side here 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 I don't like that and the only way that I can kill that is with there we go. Don't like that too much right there. There we go. Now, we need whiskers. So, I take this over here and go. Just picking up some color. enough to get some emphasis on that. And what if we took a little bit of this orange and added it inside of here like this? What if we did that? Yeah, I like that. Let's see what it looks like in the camera. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I need to stop because I want to keep going with this, but it's for a demonstration. And I probably will keep going, but for now I need this picture for the demonstration. And what do you think? You think it's a little too complicated? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the whole video. If you like it, I'd love for you to subscribe to it. I'm not real good with these YouTube things yet. I'm learning that you need subscribers and all this kind of stuff. There we go, look at that. Ah, oh, man, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Okay, I see it. Ugh, ah, ah. There we go. Get a little black in there. Break that up just a little bit. There we go. Now, what do we call this, an angry lion? I mean, what are we gonna do with that? I like this, a little bit right there, just to emphasize that. I like what I got going on here. Huh. Well, I think that is all. See part of my face? That's, that's it. That's all. I think that's what we're going to do. So in a minute, 
I'll let it dry. Send it to Miranda. Listen to her cry about it. And you all are going to send me some ideas on some things that you'd like to paint. So be creative with it, man. Um, I tell everybody all the time, they like, oh, well, I wanna watch this on how to paint a flower, how to paint faces, how to learn how to paint and do everything that way. Attack everything the same, okay? If you learn how to paint, you learn how to manipulate the paint, use your brushwork, use light to dark, you've got it beat. Everything is done. There's no difference in painting a lion and painting angel wings because apparently I'm supposed to be painting angel wings. Thank you for whoever mentioned that to Miranda. I do mean that. I'm not being sarcastic. Um, thank you. I think it's going to be a really cool one. I think I'm going to go with like some goth wings or something. Uh, I think it'd look really cool. Okay, so the, the, see what I'm doing? I'm playing around here. I need to stop because it's going to be too hard to teach the class. So with that being said, I'm going to stop at some point. Maybe not now, but I will I'll stop. Thank you all for your consideration. Maybe I shouldn't drink so much coffee next time. There we go. I think we need some pink on this. Yeah, I know, I know. I said I'd stop, but... I think we need this little bit of, make sure my face ain't in there. Yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, okay, after this I'm gonna stop, for real, okay? I'm supposed to be working, remember? Here, it's better, it's better, better, okay? Ooh, I like that, oh yeah. Oh, he's got some battle wounds in his face here. Yeah, he's been he's been chasing mice. It's been a hard life on the lion. Okay, let's see. I like it. All right, we're done. Thank you for watching this, and um, send me some suggestions. I will tell you what kind of paint I used and all that stuff in the comments, and we'll go from there.